So we're going to have Noah uh, introduce uh, Congresswoman Michelle Steele. Um, hello, my name is Noah and I'm from Fullerton, California. And my Congresswoman Michelle Steele is the U.S. Representative for California's 45th Congressional District. She's a fellow believer in Christ and is one of the first Korean American women to serve in the U.S. Congress. She has an incredible story. Her parents fled communist North Korea during the Korean War and built a life in South Korea before eventually immigrating to the United States. When she arrived to America, she and her family struggled to adapt and navigate various regulations. She knew she wanted to help those who could not stand up for themselves and successfully run for Congress in 2020. Congresswoman Steele served on the Committee on Ways and Means, the Committee on Education and Work Workforce, the Committee on the Strategic Competition between the United States and the Chinese Communist Party, and the Congressional Executive Commission in China. Congresswoman Steele has continued her passion in being a voice for the voiceless and has sponsored and co-sponsored legislation in support of North Korean human rights, including H.R. 958. Please join me in giving a warm welcome to Congresswoman Steele. Good afternoon, everyone, and I'm very much honored to be with you all day today. I want to begin by offering my heartfelt gratitude to all of you for using your voices to advocate for North Korean freedom. This is an issue that is very near to my heart. My own parents fled communism in North Korea. I was born in South Korea. And I've been growing up hearing horrific stories of the brutality and oppression in North Korea. As one of the first Korean American women ever got elected to the United States Congress, I am very proud to represent 50,000 Korean Americans living in Southern California. Yeah. 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 Many of my constituents are first generations like me. It's not just Korean Americans, but I have Vietnamese Americans, 16.7% Vietnamese American community in my district, and they fled from communism too. Many of them still have family in North Korea, and many of them still have family in Vietnam, so this issue is vitally important to them, important to me. The brutality of Kim Jong-un's regime knows no bound, and their ongoing threats of violence are a threat to global peace and stability. We must be united in our efforts to check this rogue nation and prevent further escalations. I understand that you are here to raise awareness and support for several bills, including one of my bill that I introduced, H.R. 958. Yes, thank you. As you know, H.R. 958 will require the president to report to Congress on North Korea's illegal and dangerous activities. This legislation is vital to our ability to strategically counter and deter Kim Jong-un's regime. And, and I'm also proud to support HR Resolution 126 and HR 3012 to encourage the reunification of divided Korean American families and promote human rights in North Korea. When the people of North Korea are free, the whole world will be safer and freer. And I want to thank you all again for your efforts. I know that if we keep working together, we can usher in a new era of freedom for the people of North Korea, people of Vietnamese Americans, and people of China. And I'm a fourth generation Christian, and Lord's always he the Lord always hears us. So we all pray for this matters, and I know you're going to make a big deal out of it and big impact 
on this. So I am really happy to be with you. And China too, that you know we are, since I'm on two, I'm on four committees and two are on, one is select committee on China, one is actually executive commission on China. So we are not just working on China deter attack to Taiwan, or we are working on actually human rights violations, what's going on in China too. So we really have to work together for China, North Korea, and Vietnam that they have to stop human rights violations and we have to save those people. So thank you very much for what you are doing and this effort is gonna be really big impact for this cause. So thank you very much for inviting me today. And thank you for being our voice. Also, I wanted to introduce you to Ji Sung Oh. He uh, <laughs> lost an arm and leg, unfortunately, looking for food so in nice North Korea. Yeah. Uh, so you were the one yeah. And he escaped and is actually a congressman in South Korea. Oh, okay. Yeah. Congratulations, yeah. counterpart. Yeah. And also, uh, we also wanted to show you a few tokens of appreciation uh, from a couple of our interns. Uh, hi, my name thank is so Jason much. Chan. I'm Peter. And we just wanted to thank you for coming here and standing with us in being the voice of the voiceless. So this is a token of our gratitude. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. You know what? This is a great deal. This is a great deal that I see so many younger generations, and you understand that what's going on in North Korea and future is really bright. Let's work together, and let's make sure all these communist countries that we're going to really win over them, and especially we're going to start with the reunification for North Korea and we're gonna stop all human rights violations. So that's what we've been working on and in Congress too, but love to see all these younger generations standing here. I'm very, very impressed. Let's work together. One last thing, one last thing. We also have a plaque for you. I'm Winston Kim and I want to thank you for, we want to thank you for fighting for our brothers and sisters in North Korea. Thank you so much. Okay, you guys, um, move over to the side. Okay, fight, fight, move over. More, more, more. Yeah, put it Over. Okay. All right.